Hey, it's Elizabeth Counts of Low Carb On this episode, we're gonna do a full day of lazy keto eating and easy keto eating. What do I eat for LCHF eating? Coming up next. Elizabeth Council of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do a full day of LCHF eating and lazy keto eating and easy keto eating. What do we eat on a full day of lazy keto and easy keto? If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you click subscribe and put down in the comments, easy keto, so I know to do more easy keto videos just like this one. Now let me show you what I ate for the day. Okay, so I got guapos, and if you're from Northern Virginia, you know what guapos is. It's Peruvian chicken. I got a whole chicken, and this is for my little boy and I. Um, I got salad, which is awesome, because two cups of salad equals one net carb. I got it with some ranch dressing in there, and then a whole Peruvian chicken. That's a lot of protein, and so my little boy and I are going to split it. This is what it looks like. It's the most amazing. See, it's steaming at my camera. It's the most amazing, delicious thing. Just be careful with the seasonings on it. With any sort of sauces, this is for my little boy. There's extra sugar in here. And of course, keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. So I do eat the skin. Just be mindful again of the sugar and the seasoning or any sort of inflammatory products like malodextrin and seasoning. Because I'm having actual chicken, We'll be having the thighs, which are the fattier part, but making sure that my other meal today is higher in fat to make high fat, moderate protein, low carb. And this is a great lazy keto meal and an easy keto meal um, just as a pickup and being mindful of what I'm eating with the extra spices in there. It may be inflammatory. And so making sure my meal later today is like a steak or something like traditional keto type meal. Peruvian chickens, you love Peruvian chicken, put in the comments below if you love Peruvian chicken, because I do. Just be mindful of the spices in it, it may be inflammatory, depending on your body's reaction to it. I'm counting the rotisserie chicken as two carbs, I'm also counting the lettuce for the salad as two carbs, and the ranch dressing as two carbs, <laughs> see a trend there? And then the yellow sauce, I had one, counting that as one carb. That whole meal now is totaling two plus two plus two is seven. So for the whole meal, seven carbs for that amazing Peruvian chicken. Shout out to Guapos in Northern Virginia for the best Peruvian chicken out there. My Peruvian rotisserie chicken made for an easy keto meal and a lazy keto meal, LCHF lunch, super, super simple. Okay, I went to Dunkin' Donuts. I got a large iced coffee. Mm -hmm. This totally clean. Just get a large iced coffee if you want to bring your own heavy cream with you. The way to make this keto is to get your own heavy cream into it. Um, and if you're having weight loss stalls, maybe less heavy cream. But what I added into it was one pump of the sugar-free blueberry. And then I did ask on the side for creams. And these are light creams, which is also not really keto because it's got the high fat one and it has extra sugar. So that would spike. All of these things are spiking intermittent fast. It's breaking an intermittent fast. So just being cognizant of that and being aware of that, um, I'm making a conscious choice of that. So I want you to make conscious choices. I'm making conscious choices. And Duke's here is just chitter chatter. Can you say hi, Duke? Hi, Duke. Yeah, there you go. Um, so that's, I'm gonna get my coffee because I need it really badly. And I wanted to try my blueberry in it. So there you go. I'm counting my Dunkin' Donuts coffee, two for the cream. Even though it was a very, very small nominal amount, I just wanna make sure that, I, <laughs> I just wanna make sure I'm not going over on my carb count. That has been some weight loss stalls for me by having too much cream and not accounting for it properly, even though the label does say zero. It's not zero, it's really more than that. So I'm allowing a little bit of buffer for my Dunkin' Donuts coffee for that, so I'm counting that as two. We are going for a family walk, getting a little exercise in. Put in the comments below how you're getting your exercise in today. It's a Virginia state champion tree. The dogs are very excited about it too. Yeah, that was a lot of mud, wasn't it? Oh, Maritza, uh, poor chap wanted to say hello, as did applesauce. <laughs> Surprisingly windy today. This is the Virginia Arboretum for all you Virginians. It's got cool stuff for kids. We're a little behind here. <laughs> I wanted to go run through the mud puddle. Some days you just gotta do it. I have done spaghetti squash about a trillion different ways. Poor Chuck does. 
you got a bone, we cook it for three minutes in the microwave. I've poked holes in it before I cook it in the microwave. Cook it in the microwave for three minutes, then I'll open it up, scoop the guts out, and I'm preheating our, ignore my mess, that's royal mate loss means real life right there. I'm heating the oven to 375. You can use parchment paper. Y'all have heard my, I don't like this kind because it just ends up sloppy. It ends up, it's just annoying to me. So <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my jam, it's cheaper. It's the pre-cut parchment papers. I will put it in the description link below. You just simply get one of the sheets and put it down. And usually it fits, um, I have a smaller cookie sheet. And so usually it fits um, so I'm gonna put one here and put my so I'm gonna put my spaghetti squash here on on here as well and then I'm gonna cook this for 375 in the oven and um, cook it for about 50 minutes I had I have done this in the instapot and I've also done it in a slow cooker but I'm just trying to get it in the oven to get things out quickly so we can eat if you like this video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up put in the comments down below easy keto if you like this video now back to the content he and I have an understanding because I cook like the Sesame Street chef, but he cleans up all my messes. As you can see, I splattered it everywhere. But so I put it in the microwave so it makes cutting them in half easy without ripping off your fingers. So I have these here, gonna cut up my second one. Um, and then I'm just gonna put some olive oil. You can use olive oil, any sort of butter, any sort of like fat to put on top and then plop it into the, and sometimes I'll put a little pink Himalayan salt and plop it into the oven. The other ones come to help too. They're both here because I know well, I flicked all of the seeds down there. But so I put my olive oil in it, mushed it all around, flipped them upside down so the water doesn't like, it makes it less soupy tasting when you flip them upside down, took the stickers off. And now I'm just gonna put them in my preheated oven. It's like 375 degrees. I'm gonna put these in the oven. Are you helping me? Yeah. Oh, you're such a good help. Boom. Are you eating what you're scraping? Yeah. Are you my Parmesan cheese guy? Yeah. You're doing a very good job grating this cheese. Freshly grated Parmesan. Pork chop's loving it too. Keep going. Keep scraping it. And on my end, I've already done almost three of these guys. And I have a big mound and these will be my spaghetti noodles. How sweet is my honey bunny? He made me some flamingo tea or as my little boy says, babingo tea. We've got pork chop over here helping. Applesauce helping. A huge mound of spaghetti squash. Mine, Parmesan man cut his finger, so he's done doing that. <laughs> That's gonna go in the garbage. Don't mind our after Christmas crap on the kitchen. And then this is for my little boy. I'm gonna make some Alfredo for myself. And then um, I'm gonna make my little boy some spaghetti squash. And then the Count will be having something later. You can mix these with meatballs. You can mix these with meat sauce. I personally am just gonna mix mine with some Alfredo sauce, which is butter. Parmesan and cream. It's like the easiest thing to make. Easy, easy, easy. Even for Sesame Street chef like myself and all of the mess the dogs cleaned up, which is amazing. And that's why we own dogs because I cook like, look at that. I mean, holy gazolis. Cook like a champion. So let me go get my uh, Alfredo set up and then I'm going to eat this. I'm so excited to eat it. The secret to my delicious, amazing Alfredo is adding into it. This is way too hot, by the way. Um, it should just be a light heat. But adding into it um, cream cheese, it makes the Alfredo even better. So it's cream cheese, butter, Parmesan, and cream. Oh my gosh. It's the most amazing Alfredo ever. There's my little boys. There's the dogs cleaning up. Here's my Alfredo. I'm just going to mix this all around. Got my cheese in there, got my cream in there, got my cream cheese in there. And see the butter's browning? Did you like your garbage truck? Mm-hmm, yes. Did you see his boo-boo? <laughs> yeah, I really got a boo-boo. How'd you get a boo-boo? From, 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 from the pan Yeah, mommy had you scrape it, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is all done. See, again, Sesame Street Chef. Y'all who know how to cook well, this is a great recipe. If you're Sesame Street Chef, this does make for an awesome lazy keto meal, an easy keto meal. This is like the easiest keto meal ever. All right, now I'm just gonna dump this on top of my spaghetti squash. But don't dump it on me. No, I don't wanna dump it on you. We already had one boo-boo today. Yum! Oh my goodness, that's the most amazing thing!
This is the most amazing lazy keto meal. It is so, so good and filling. How's yours do? Good. Good. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's right. And we put the lid on it and we got food for tomorrow. And the dogs love when we cook from home, don't they? Yeah. That's right. So I had one cup of the spaghetti squash. That equals 5.5 net carbs or carbs for that. I also had with that my homemade Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce is the easiest thing. Don't buy it in a jar. Make your own one. It's so stinking simple. So I'm counting the cream. The heavy cream is one carb. The cheese is one carb. And then also the cream cheese in it has one carb, 1.5 carbs, and that's totally nine carbs for that meal. Also, if you want a free weekly keto meal plan, it's also listed down below in the description. My full day for lazy keto eating and easy keto eating is 18 carbs for the day. It's a great easy keto meal. If you want a simple easy keto meal, this was the day for it. Like, were you loving my full day of lazy keto eating and LCHF eating? Go ahead and put down in the comments lazy keto so I know to do more videos just like this one. Click the like button and click the subscribe button. Also, if you like my I Am A Countess t-shirt, I'll put that in the description link below. Did you poop? It smells like poo poo. Um, so I, we're helping out our friends. So 